Joe Farrell, what are we going to do today, Joe? We're going to go inside the cathedral with Mary Fox, and we're going to uh, take some really good pictures of the light coming in through the uh, uh, windows that they have, and then the altar. It's, it's a beautiful place. Let's check it out. Whenever you're dealing with architecture, key elements I look for when I've been to a Went to a place I haven't been to before, I hadn't been there in a long time, is repetitive patterns. And here you have it in the columns. And you also have it in the in the stained glass windows. One, two, three, four, five. I always like uh, getting together with the local camera clubs, but a lot of nice work in the local camera clubs. It's a good place to learn photography. If you're uh, in any major metropolitan area, check out the, the local camera club. In our area, we've got the Harrisburg Camera Club, and we've got the West, what they call the West Shore Camera Club, and both of them are doing tremendous work in uh, uh, weekly, or month, or not weekly, but uh, monthly competitions and where you can really learn your craft of photography. Leaning more on the arts side of photography, which I really like myself. So check them out uh, in your local area. Uh, get together with other photographers and uh, it's a good way to learn and uh, improve your techniques. We shot this with the uh, West Shore Camera Club uh, uh, out of Camp Hill, Pennsylvania and uh, got back to the studio and realized that we lost all the audio for the, all, all the interviews of the other photographers. So I want to show their images and give them credit for what they shot. Check these photographs. There's some nice talent to work here and just wanted to share it with you. What caught my eye here yesterday was this light coming through the door here right across these uh, black and white tiles. It's not as strong today as it was yesterday, but check this out. I like the uh, nails on the door here where they're at hand level, where everybody rubs them, they're shiny. And you can see, but where they're not, they're dull. So, just a little added texture on there. What caught my eye here on the floor here is the repetitive pattern, of course, the black and white tiles. But then to the left, the repetitive pattern of the of the pews, boom, 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 boom. But then there's this, when you get down here low and you don't see the backs except for the one here, you see this one bright spot, this red book sticking out. I think that's a hymnal. But uh, it's layers of composition. You got the tile, you got the pews, and you got the one little item sticking out that's different, the red book. All makes for a compelling picture. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for here at the uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, or the Cathedral of St. Patrick, which I believe it's called. And uh, we'll go home and edit these, uh, bring in some of the pho photographs, photographs from the other photographers, and uh, we'll check them out and see what we can get here. So thanks for coming along, and we'll see you on the next video.